What's good YouTube, it's your boy Sky Jordan here. In this video, man, I'll be showing you how to use DistroKid. If you're looking for an outlet to get your songs on Apple Music, Spotify, and especially TikTok, I would have recording them on it yourself, but DistroKid has a way for you to get it on TikTok. And just to let you know, man, this video is sponsored by DistroKid, you know, but I was using DistroKid before they reached out to sponsor this video. So I'm going to make a video and I'll show you how you can go through and get your music out. And also, I seen something new that they got in here too that's real dope that y'all should probably look into. A basic account is like $19. Um, it's like $20 a year. A year, right? You can upload unlimited music, whether you're uploading beats, um, music, podcasts, whatever it is that you can upload it. The thing about that is, man, I have a VIP code link in the description. You can get 7% off your first year. All right, let's say you just bought your account or whatever. You got your account active and you're ready to upload a song. So you want to click on upload, right? So when you go to upload, all right, it's going to bring out this page right here, right? So it's going to say services. So you can choose what stores you want it to go to, like Spotify, Apple Music, iTunes, TikTok, and Resto, right? Google Play, YouTube Music. All of these are important now. It'll be on Tidal, Napster, like pretty much everything, right? Everything, because everybody uses all of this, like especially TikTok. Especially if you're making songs that are catchy, like viral type songs, and you want to get it on TikTok, man, trust me, you want to do this. Choose TikTok. If you don't, it's not gonna go to TikTok. Cool. So like you can be like, okay, I'm gonna drop two songs, three songs. How many songs you can drop at one time? Thirty five songs. Let's say I'm gonna drop thirty five songs at one time. You just choose thirty five. You can be like, has it been released before? Yes, no. You put in your name, you know what I'm saying? It's all here. And then you can choose the release date, right? So let's say you can be like, I'm gonna drop a project November the thirtieth in two thousand and twenty two. <laughs> I don't know why you would do that, but you could do that and you can release the time. But this is only for Spotify, right? Time synchronization, so Spotify only. Um, they can only pre order on iTunes, Google Play, and Amazon, right? And then let's say if you got your record label, you can put in whatever label you want to put in. And also, you do your album cover. But the album cover has to be a certain size, so 3,000 by 3,000. So you just drag and drop it there. And then you can choose your language genres have you choose man you can do your genres and do it like a secondary genre you don't have to so then you come down here to the song you put the title of the song again it tells you how you want to put it in you know so songs and then you upload the file and you can upload a wav file a wma file an info a file an mp3 or a c double da right you could do that, right? All right, then you have the option to put the songwriter, but like, okay, I wrote the song, or I managed the songwriter, it's an original tune. Or another artist wrote it, it was a cover song. So if you're doing a cover song, this is what you choose if it's, if it's a cover, right? All right, so cover songs, okay, whatever. So Distro Kid charges a $1 fee per month, so $12 built to your account. They're gonna obtain the license for you if it's a cover song, all right? So that's how you get your cover song out there. But if it's an original song, that's what you go to. All right. So if you got, so if you got, if you're the rapper and the producer, you would do music and lyrics for your first middle name, last name, right? Or if you had somebody to help you write the song, you would do another one. But if you had somebody that just did the music, just what made the beat, you know? So if they made the beat, you put them here. And if you did the lyrics, you put yourself here, right? You fill in your information or if it's like, four people on the song and they did lyrics and you just add as many people that had involved in the lyrics if you had two producers or whatever you just do you know what I'm saying two producers everything's just like that all right if you got cuss words you know yes no whatever if it's a radio edit yes no whatever um instrumental if it's just you know a beat or it's just lyrics you know you choose that and then like preview click t preview clip start time it's either let let the streaming services decide or let you specify. It's either let it's, then when it comes to the preview clip time, um, then when it comes to the preview clip start time, it's either like let the streaming services decide or you want to pick one side. So if you want to choose, you know, you gotta go specifically to the part of the song that you want to be on TikTok, Apple Music, and iTunes. So if you wanted it to start at a minute in. A minute and 11 seconds, that's when it's going to start. I think it's a 30 second or 15 second clip start. Maybe 30 seconds. 
maybe in a minute. I don't I don't know for sure. But then you go down here to track price. You can choose the price of the track, $0.69, cent, $0.99, cent or $1.29. Then it says tracks over 10 minutes long will be priced higher. So if that's a podcast or something, it's going to be a higher price. Um, then you stroll down here. This is how you get your songs on Instagram and Facebook for free. And then make sure they have it right here for free. So it's free, right? So you click that. Okay, if you want YouTube money, the YouTube money is basically seen... It's the content ID. So, it's like, if you put a beat out or something and somebody else uses it and they put it on YouTube, it's going to automatically put the content ID in and then all the money or the revenue that's coming from that video is going to come directly to you. That's the finesse, right? That's why these producers are giving away these free type beats and stuff like that because, I mean, they're, they're going through this and it's going to give them their bread anyway. Or if you want to do store maximizer, it's going to, like, any new service that comes out, they're going to put it on there. Uh, Shazam and iPhone Siri. So, like, if you Shazam it on, like, Snapchat or you be like, Siri, what is this song? It's going to pull up your song. Or you can leave a legacy, right? So, if you ever want to cancel it or your car gets declined or something like that, the song will always be on there. It's just a one-time fee, all right? Then you got important check boxes down here. It says I selected YouTube music as a store. Yes, yeah, so like I recorded this music. I'm, you know, then it's like I'm not hearing. I'm not using any other artist names. So no clickbait, no nothing. So it's like you can't just put Lil Wayne featuring Lil Wayne. All right, you can't fe be like six nine featuring six nine. You gotta have approval. Then be like, okay, if you read the agreements and terms, click that. Then you hit done. Right, teams. Right. <clears throat> Think about this is. Let's say um, I got this song right. So I want to hit next, right? So <clears throat> in the song, all right, I go here and it has my name here. So I, okay, let's say if I had a collaborator, right? If I put somebody here, I got to put the email address in, right? So I put the email in and I can be like, okay, I get 87% of this song and they get 10% of this song. All right, then I had somebody else that did like something real minor to it. I put 3% in, they get that, right? And then I would hit review changes. And then whenever the money gets paid out for this specific song, it's going to go to that person. All right? So that they make it easy for you to do your splits. They got everything, like pretty much if you want to start your own label, man, and just record your own music and just put out your own music whenever and just control your music. This is where you go, man. It's like you can upload the music here. You can see your catalog here. You can add your team here. Put the engineer here and the producer here. The songwriter, your manager, anybody that had any part of the song or the project. You can put them here. You can check your stats. You can upgrade your account. You know, then you got your bank over here with the money. So you can see where the money at. And also, this side over here on the more side is real interesting to me. Because I haven't been on DistroKid in a minute. But... They have this cool option right here, man. Upload your lyrics, right? So it's gonna send your lyrics to Apple Music or yeah, Apple Music. It's gonna send it to Music Match. It's gonna send it to Instagram, so you can do that little cool lyric shit with your song on Instagram for promo and your single. You know what I'm saying? Um, Facebook, Lyric Find, Shazam, and Google Search, right? So what you're gonna have to do though, you're gonna have to put in your playing lyrics first, right? All right. So it's telling you the guidelines on how you want to do that, right? So you do that, but they also had this thing called synced lyrics. So I'm guessing with the synced lyrics, it's gonna show up when the whenever you say in the words, right? So, but the only way to do the sync lyrics is for you to do the plain lyrics first, okay? So and you can do that for every song that's on there, right? They also they have like a meme generate a meme video generator here. We got the credits and liner notes here. So like if I wanted to put credits here. I could be like songwriter, producer, engineer, studio, contributor, social media, contact information. All of this, man. You can go here and do all of that. It's in beta. So, it's real helpful, man. If you're like starting off, if you and your friends starting an indie label or just you just want to be legit about your stuff, man. It's like, it's so much stuff here, bro. Like, they got a vault. You can back up your files and stuff, man. This is crazy, bro. Like... I didn't even know they had did all this other stuff. Then you got the hyper follow. That's cool. So you can put this like in your bio, put it in Facebook, whatever, man. Send these people to Snapchat, whatever. Like when they pull it up, they just got the option and they can listen to it on whatever they choose. Whatever they choose. Like, it's crazy, man. 
It's crazy. And using DistroKid is really easy, man. It's not hard. But one artist or one band name is $19.99 a year. Then you got Musicians Plus is $35.99. And then for the label, five plus brand five plus artists and brand name is $79.99, like $80 a year. You know? And bro. I mean, bro, I'm I'm just telling you, bro, if you're looking for the most affordable way to put your music in, it's the easiest way. It's simple, man. You can upload wave files, MP3s, whatever, man. You can get your royalties, man. Do your splits, man. Do everything right here. All I'm waiting on from them is to make a app for the phone so you can handle all this from the phone, man. So, DistroKid, can y'all make the app, please? Because, like, I'd rather just have it on my phone, you know? That's clutch. Just clutch, man. Just, just make an app. Just make an app. Just make an app. <laughs> Alright, man. But I use DistroKid, man. And I highly suggest you use DistroKid. Think about it, bro. $20 a year, man. You can drop whatever. And I'm pretty sure if you drop 100 songs, you're going to make way more than $20. <laughs> Alright, so you're not even going to be tripping on the money. But make sure you like, comment, subscribe to this channel. And shout out to DistroKid, man, for sponsoring the video, man. I appreciate it a lot. But, um... Yeah, man. So check Distro Kid out, man. If you if you're just looking for somebody to um, you know get your music on TikTok, especially TikTok, man. TikTok is is making people's careers right now. So check that out, man. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe to the channel, and I see you in another video, right? <laughs>